Two acres of fenced off land are on their way to be opened back up to the community and the future plans include a community owned grocery store. It is a dream that has been in the making for years. Connor Stefan explains the exciting new plans that were just announced today. I'm standing in an empty lot right now. However, after today, that empty lot will become both a 15,000 square foot grocery store and more in community resources for the Smoketown neighborhood. In the Smoketown neighborhood, <laughs> surrounded by barbed wire fencing designed to keep people out. This land has been sitting here. Until now. It's a grand day, a historic day. Two acres of land that many hope could soon welcome its surrounding community in. And just really being a staple in a community fixture. Because today in front of a content crowd right. bearing the blazing morning heat. I know it's hot out there. The Community Foundation of Louisville made one major announcement for two local community groups, getting each a parcel of land, which they hope will improve the quality of life for those in Smoketown. While beginning to repair harm to a neighborhood that has lacked access and control. One acre sitting near Jackson Street now belongs to the grassroots nonprofit LACE. They're looking to tackle a particular problem in Smoketown. The residents lack access to healthy, affordable food. They plan to use the land to develop Louisville Cooperative Grocery. I hope you heard that word cooperative because this is about building wealth, not just providing food. A tentative 15,000 square feet of grocery space, another 3,000 for retail. The acre over near Preston Street, that's for nonprofit housing developer Rebound. It plans to create a community land trust with its parcel. So that the residents in these communities can make the choices of what they actually want in their particular neighborhoods. Affordable housing for African American people who have invested their hard time, sweat, and effort into these neighborhoods. A historic black neighborhood and land. Once home to Louisville Slugger, now decades later, hoping this revival will be a home run. Yes, yes. <laughs> in Smoketown, Connor Stephan, WHAS 11, on your side.